Decision Analysis and Managerial Accounting. Managers make decisions every day, don't they? And the decisions they make uh, can be of a short-term nature or a long-term nature. Today we're going to focus on the short-term types of decisions managers make. And there's basically five different types, but to make those decisions you need to be aware of what costs and what information you need to make a great decision. So we're first going to have some terminology uh, that you might hear me use later in, in the tapes. And the first one is sunk cost. Now sunk cost is my favorite kind of cost. A sunk cost means you've already spent the money and you can't bring it back. So for example, for me, I have a closet that is full of clothes. And I say to my husband, hey, I want to go shopping today for more clothes. And he takes one look at me and he says, what about all those clothes in that closet? And I smile sweetly and say, those are sunk costs. Those costs are totally irrelevant to my decision to shop or not to shop because they're past costs. I can't bring them back. Now, if I decided to have a garage sale with all those clothes in my closet, then that would be a relevant um, consideration because I could sell those clothes to get money to go shopping for more clothes, couldn't I? The second cost I want to talk about is opportunity cost. Now an opportunity cost is really not a cost at all. It's the benefits you forego because you picked a different alternative. So tonight you can go home and study and forego the pleasures of going out. So the opportunity cost of studying is all that money you saved and benefits you forewent because you did not go out. So think of it this way. If you go out tonight, the opportunity cost of going out is all those benefits you forewent because you didn't stay home and study. So that next exam grade was an opportunity cost of going out, wasn't it? Yeah. So we're going to talk about opportunity costs, the benefits you forego because you selected another alternative. Avoidable cost means that these are costs you can avoid um, if you select the alternative. So for example, if I am going to discontinue uh, a product line or or close down a factory, the avoidable costs are the costs that I can avoid because I do that. So if I make that choice, I won't have those costs anymore. In other words, they're avoidable. Incremental cost is the cost between um, making one unit and making two units. So an incremental difference says every time you make one more unit, you incur that much more incremental cost. A variable cost is an incremental cost. Why? Because the more units you produce, the more your costs are. And notice that that cost changes the same amount from one unit to two units to three units and so on. So an incremental cost is looking at the difference. A differential cost is a little bit broader. A differential cost is, again, you could look at it between one unit or two units, or you could look at a differential cost between option A and option B. So for example, I could make a choice about whether I want to make something or whether I want to buy something. Do I want to make a pizza or do I want to buy a pizza? And I would look at the differential cost how much does it cost to make a pizza? How much does it cost to buy a pizza? And the difference between those two options is the differential cost. So I hope that helps as far as some terminology you will see when you make short-term decisions.